In this video, we're going to learn how to make some calcium acetate, uh, and later we'll use that to make some fire gel. To make our calcium acetate, we need two simple ingredients. One is calcium carbonate, and that can be in the form of Tums, eggshells, chalk, or over-the-counter tablets that are like supplements. And the second ingredient is acetic acid or vinegar. The amounts we need are 25 grams, and I'm using eggshells, the calcium carbonate, and 100 milliliters of vinegar. So for every 25 grams you have of whatever, you want to add 100 milliliters of vinegar. One of the steps in this process develops a lot of bubbles down here, and it ends up uh, turning into foam, which is a lot usually. And one of the things that I found is if you bleach the eggshells before you start any of this, you'll get rid of a lot of the organics which are responsible for that foam. So I bleach them in uh, about 30% bleach versus water mix uh, for about an hour. That's all it took. Then I dried them out and I put those eggshells into the vinegar here. So I put uh, 75 grams of eggshells into 300 milliliters of vinegar according to this ratio right here. Once you do put those eggshells into the vinegar, you'll notice immediate uh, bubbles forming and this is the carbon dioxide that's coming off of this here. And like I said before, a lot of foam can form up here. If you want to get rid of that foam easily, uh, you, well, you can spoon it out, but I've also seen people use like a torch and kind of burn down on top here, which will make the bubbles disappear. But you want to wait until all the CO2 bubbles are done, and that can take anywhere from a couple hours to overnight. When the bubbling stops, you want to take all of this, eggshells and the solution, the bubbles, whatever's there, and you want to filter it, and out of the bottom will come an almost clear, it's not completely clear, solution. And that's your calcium acetate solution. And all the stuff stuck up here in your filter paper, you can throw it out. You then take the solution that you've collected here and you start to gently heat it. You want to gently heat this uh, solution you have here uh, until a sludge starts to form in it. And gentle heating is necessary because if not, you'll form acetone. Acetone will evaporate out of here and you will have ruined your experiment. But once you get that sludge on the bottom, it's, uh, you know, it's calcium acetate. It's, it looks white. Um, you want to let it cool down completely. Once your solution is cooled down, you can start adding your um, alcohol. I'm going to use ethanol. You can also use isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. You just want as high as concentration as you can find to do this. And as you add it, you will notice a gel starts forming very quickly. If you need to mix this around a little bit, don't overmix it. Once the gel forms, you can stop adding the alcohol, pour off any excess liquids, and your gel, which is saturated with the alcohol, is what's left. It's kind of a white, uh, crystallized substance. It's easily formable, um, and that's your fire gel. And if you light it, it will burn, and it will burn for a long time. It's very similar to Sterno. If you want to save this stuff, you have to put it in an airtight container. But if you do that, it'll last a long time. All right, let's go make it. Here are the same eggshells I'm going to be covering with um, some bleach water for a bit. And the reason why can be seen right here and get this to focus. And that is that, there you go. Um, that is obviously organic material that's not part of the eggshell. And um, I want to dissolve that before we grind these up to make our calcium acetate with water mostly and add bleach we add the bleach now I do about 30 percent approximately and just leave them in there until I can see that that organic material has been dissolved so this has been sitting here for about a half hour now the eggshells are getting cleaned nicely uh, there's a lot of organic stuff you I can see floating in here and um, I'm gonna clean it with plain old water um, and let them dry out good so everything evaporates the water the bleach so they're nice and dry and crush them So here are the bleach then really well dried eggshells. So I'm going to be working with uh, 75 uh, grams of eggshells and for that we need 300 milliliters of vinegar as I was speaking of earlier. So we're gonna put 300 milliliters in here Here on the left. I have the 300 milliliters of vinegar and on the right, I have the 75 grams, not milligrams, grams of those eggshells. So I'm gonna pour these in here and uh, I'll probably leave this overnight. It's kind of late in the day. The bubbles that we see forming here is carbon dioxide and there's a lot of them. Look at all that carbon dioxide being formed. I can tell you from experience that with the organic still left in there, this would probably have bubbled over by now. Okay, this is the next day. Obviously all bubbling has stopped and the Solution is cleared a bit, so I'm going to filter it. 
filtering the solution here. It's going to take a bit, so uh, I'll just wait till it's completely done. Be back. So here's our completely filtered solution. I was shaking it a bit, so it bubbled, but uh, it's cleared up a lot. Inside of this is a calcium acetate we were making. It's just dissolved in the solution. So I'm going to move it over to the speaker here where we'll start to heat it. So I'm starting to heat the calcium acetate solution here. I don't think any stirring is necessary. And again, you can't forget this is gentle heating. So do not overdo it or you'll form acetone. We're down to about a quarter of what we started, maybe a little bit less. That's all right, but I'll turn it off now and let it cool down. So we have here our cooled down calcium acetate solution. A little sludgy there. That's kind of what you want to shoot for. And I have my ethanol here. This is almost 100%, very little water in it. And we are going to start to add this slowly. And you'll see what happens here as I do so. See that right there? That's our gel. As I add more of it forms, just gently mixing to make sure that everything is thoroughly reacted. Next, I'm going to pour off any of the extra liquids. Some of the gel will get transferred, but for the most part, and there you have your fire gel. All right, we'll scoop out some of this in here. This is really saturated with the ethanol right now, so it, uh, it'll it burn. But if you let this out, the ethanol will evaporate, of course, and you'll be left with calcium acetate. And I want to mention, too, earlier, if you just keep boiling that solution that we had of calcium acetate, eventually you'll end up with the solid white calcium acetate. There you go. There's your fire gel. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.